Hello guys, Create Tutorials here. Um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to um, basically motion track your 3D sh characters, characters uh, in my editing pack. You know these uh, 3D, yeah, like the green screens, uh, the kick and the kick two and the get up like that. How how you can actually um, yeah, motion track them. So, gonna be showing you that, and also gonna be showing you how to motion track uh, your 3D stroke like this. So, that's pretty cool. So, this is what we're going to be doing. So, like that looks pretty good, and then the other kick, whatever. Um, Run through that really quick, like that, and then he just get up, and everything is motion tracked, so it's really cool. And the last one, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Um. Man, that's the last one. And then the free stroke, I'm not going to run through that, but that's basically just get to a pointer. And then, uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, before I start this tutorial, I just want to uh, do. Um, to give this guy a credit because he. Uh, he actually told me I request this and he told me how to do this basically. So go and sub him. I'm gonna leave this link in the description. So yeah. Uh, so let's start the tutorial. So what you wanna do is basically just drag your uh, original clip in the description. And I got this this cinematic from uh, Asperos uh, Asper Aspers. Uh, editing contest for or editing pack for a long time ago uh, but yeah. um, so what you want to do is just go and add your camera tracker and if you don't have this just search it up on YouTube I can't give away the serials or anything sorry but yeah so you wanna tr click uh, track features and make sure you have the uh, the quality in full and you just wanna click track features like that and it will go through and you can't click away say if you want to go to skype then it, oh huh I didn't know that but yeah it will stop for you basically I think but yeah I, I will just come back when this is done okay now that's done so uh, then you want, what you want to do is click uh, Soul Camera, and I have already done it, but let's see here. Yeah, just click Soul Camera, and you should get this error or whatever. Not not the error, but and then you will get these green dots. And what you want to do is just click like in the middle where you want your um, 3D models or whatever. And you wanna control click and you wanna click uh, ground plane and wait oh fuck um wait okay ground plane and set origin it will wait and then you wanna go to your create scene on your camera tracker you wanna click create create scene and then you'll get a null object and a camera so basically what you want to do now is just go and drag in your kick or whatever you have and then you want to go and search up uh, color key you want to drag that into your uh, kick two or whatever you used and you want to click the pen tool and click the green and you will get a little bit green off but go to the color tolerance and drag that up so it's kinda disappear but it's hard to get everything to disappear but basically like this 
but as you see it's not motion tracked so what you want to do is just click this thing to make it um, 3d so now it's 3d object then you want to click s on your keyboard for scale and you want to scale it down a bit and then you just place it wherever you want basically so now if we scroll through it's motion tracked yeah I think it's a really cool effect so that you can do in your edits and now for uh, that's basically how I did for all of these so yeah I'm not going to show you all of them but as you see here we have done it here so now f you're pr probably wondering how I did for the for the stroke it's basically the same thing but let's see here I'm just gonna delete my cook uh, my kick thingy kick uh, animation uh, so what I have here is just motion track footage I just deleted the the foot uh, the foot <laughs> the kick I mean um, then you wanna go to new layer and then solid and make it black and then you just go and uh, uh, 3d stroke and you wanna drag it to your black solid and then basically what I did is just draw a um, yeah basically a pointer so I'm not going to do this very well but yeah like that basically I have to try that out okay so that's basically what I did is change the color and enable the tapper taper tapper and then I just keyframed it from 0 to 100 and then yeah and click the um, 3d object thingy and I just drag down the scale and then I enable this glowing text glow, glowing glowing thingy like that's basically all I did is now it's motion track and you can do this whatever you want uh, you can mess around with this and be creative and uh, this is just a fast way um, that I did so uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial guys please leave a like and a comment and because it will help me a lot and it'll help me out um, so uh, just be creative with this don't copy me just be creative basically um so yeah uh yeah don't forget to leave a like and a comment below and i will see you in the next tutorial bye guys